Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Primrose and what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit crafty. So I'm going to be showing you how to transform an old photo frame into something a little creepier. So if you'd like to learn how to do this make, then do continue watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. First things first, let's go make a coffee. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have our coffee and we are appropriately caffeinated, we will put some candles on just to make things a little extra cosy. And then I'm going to use these photo frames that I picked up from a charity shop. They cost me 50p per photo frame, which is crazy. So you're not spending a lot on this make at all. And then I just printed out my designs, which I'm now going to cut out as well. The reason that I'm cutting them out is just so they fit better in the photo frames when we put them in. But essentially we're just going to use these like a stencil. So try and go for ones that are a silhouette or have a lot of black on them so you can easily follow their design. And then I'm just going to choose which one I want in which photo frame. I did get a couple of different sizes so it's always good to have different options and I think different sizes add more dimension to them. So then we just put our printout in the back, just where you'd put the photo. And that already looks good on its own, so if you wanted to leave it there that's absolutely fine. But I'm just putting a splodge of black paint and then all I'm going to do is paint on the actual glass our design. It did actually take two coats, but this whole process I actually found really therapeutic. It was nice to just sit down and do something artsy for once, especially with all the fine details. And then we're just going in with our second design, which is a little bit trickier, but I just wanted to focus on the main letters of the Ouija board and the border. I didn't want to do any of the extra art stuff, so that's what we're going to do. Doing the letters was a little tricky, so do bear that in mind if you want to do a similar design yourself. But this is a really good make to do when you've got a spooky movie on in the background and can cosy up and have time to do it. And these are our designs. So once we take the paper out the back, you can really see how good it looks on the glass and you could put whatever background you wanted in there as well so you could have a glitter background you could leave it blank like I have and then with my Ouija board design I decided to take that out of the frame entirely I really like how that one come out it looks really good when it's flat down on a surface but I also liked the shadow that it cast as well when the light was above it so these have been my two makes for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed and will use these for yourself. Do tag me on Instagram if you do this. Let me see your designs. There is honestly so many different things you can do with this. I've been toying with the idea of putting lights behind them and different backgrounds. So honestly, it's such a quick and easy craft that looks so effective. And I'm just so ready for spooky season. I can't believe how quick October has gone so far. And I'm just here for it. I'm just ready for all of that spookiness so do give it a go do give this video a thumbs up and i will see you lovelies in my next video bye